Man. Forgot what I was going to say. So, I got home from work, and my wisdom teeth were killing me so bad, so I was like, screw this. I picked up some ibuprofen, took that, laid down for like an hour and a half. It was just like writhing in excruciating pain until it finally died down. And then by the time it went away to where I could go to sleep, I was wide awake. So I figured, what the heck, I'm up. Might as well fix some coffee and upload the vlog. Okay, so I have like the best and worst luck possible. Bees need to stay over there. Stay over there. He's like, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Gosh, bees, grow up. But no, so I go to lay down, right? And my wisdom teeth start kicking up again. And they're still sore. Like, they've never been sore this long. I mean, there's really nothing I can do about it. Because I don't have insurance. I can't afford to go get them taken out. Oh, that was... I can't really afford to go get them taken out. So, I just have to pretty much endure it. Until I can get the money to get it taken care of. So that was keeping me awake. And it would, like, come and go. And finally, one of the times it went... And I was getting ready to do this off. I mean, I was there. I was almost asleep. Phone goes off. And this is where the good news comes in. These people from Richmond are coming to look at this boat. They said they're really, really interested in it. And I'm hoping that means they're, like, interested in it enough to where they bring cash so they can just go ahead and buy this thing. Because that would be awesome. Because that would be that much more money I can use for my trip when I go see my boys. Hmm. Trying to find the oars to the boat. I don't think the life vest exists. I really don't. There's a trolling motor, which I gotta get out and de spider fied. Uh, trying to see if. I really don't feel comfortable sticking my hand in that. Ah. What? You found him? Maybe. Oh. So just one? Or two. Oh, two. That's awesome. Otherwise, they'd just be paddling in circles. Success. Now, the uh, life vests. I can't say I ever even remember the life vests. I don't remember even seeing them when we. We're out on the boat. <laughs> Look how dirty this thing is. Really hoping that's like old dog hair. But we got those. I'm not even worried about the life vests. And it's raining outside. So that saves me having to actually wash the boat. Mother Nature's kind of taking care of that for me. Nothing's not happy. What's up, buddy? What? What's wrong? You can't come out here. You wouldn't know what to do out here. You wouldn't. You can't tell, really. But I did give it a good scrub down. This looks a lot better. Still a little dirty a little bit, but overall, pretty happy with it. Hopefully it'll sell. Alright, so it's been like an hour and a half since those people called me. And unless they have like a lot of crap they gotta get ready to come, it's taking them an awful long time. And I need sleep. Oh my god, because in three hours I will have been up for 24 hours. Again. I cannot honestly remember the last time that I actually got more than four or five hours of sleep. I really can't at all. I don't know. I really am hoping that if they buy it today, I'm gonna be really excited. I might even go out to the mall just because I have money that I'm not gonna spend, but it'll be something to do. That was a loud fart. All right, so those people never called or never came. I called them and. Uh, she said, hold on, let me have my husband call you right back. And he never did, but right after that, these other two people called me. These two guys that were here in Winchester. And they are going to come and get the boat. Moved it out here. So 
sell it to them for 200 they're getting the trolling motor and the oars i got that over there in the corner and uh that boat is a lot heavier than i thought it was going to be so they gotta run to the gas station pull out the money and then they're gonna be right back and that means the trip going down to see my boys is officially definitely gonna happen which really really makes me excited and i'm really really pumped up about that but yeah getting rid of this thing well boat is sold officially and i'm 200 dollars richer and it's awesome god it's so crazy to think it's like the most amazing feeling to know that like a week from today i will be in georgia right now like holding and playing with my kids it's just like such an overwhelmingly awesome feeling I know it'll be even more awesome whenever I get down there, but I'm so pumped about it, and uh, now that I can actually afford it now, um, probably gonna head out to Walmart soon and get a fourth SD card because right now I just have three. Because what I'm gonna do is when I go down there, I'm gonna be down there next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'm heading back on Monday, and. Uh, so yeah, I'll need like an SD card for every single day because I'm going to try to vlog as much of it as I possibly can. Which I know, well with the new jump cut editing that I'm doing, I'll be able to fit the whole entire day in like 15 minutes. It'll just be crazy amounts of editing, that's for sure. And uh, those of you who are new and don't know how this works, I don't have a laptop or a way to edit my videos when I'm down there. So what will happen is, is pretty much Friday... Whenever I get home, I'll upload, like next Friday, whenever I get home, I'll upload Thursday's vlog. And then there won't be another vlog until Tuesday. Because I don't have a way I can upload or edit or anything else like that. So what I do is whenever I go on trips like these, I just take, like I said, I have an SD card for each day. And I just vlog each thing. And then whenever I get back, I cram all the editing into like one night. Or since I have to work the rest of the week, it'll be kind of scattered. So for that next week, the vlogs are definitely going to be out of schedule. And some days there'll be like two vlogs that'll be uploaded in one day. Some days there'll be like three. It'll be the probably towards the end of the week until they get back on a regular schedule. But I'll still be vlogging every day. Because once I fill out an SD card, then I'll just go and then I'll just loop around until I finally get caught up. But that's the way I do it whenever I do the trips. So until I get a laptop, that's kind of the thing I got to deal with. But it's still good. And I think, gosh, I'm so tired, but I can't go to sleep. Because I know if I go to sleep, then tomorrow during the day, I won't be able to sleep at all. And I have to work tomorrow night. And then I'm off Sunday and Monday. Which, Sunday, my buddy Brandon called me. And Sunday, we might be, me, him, and my other two friends might be going out and playing around a golf in the afternoon. But it all depends on the Kentucky basketball game tonight. Because if they win and go to the Elite Eight, then they play on Sunday at 2. And uh, we all agreed that we're not going to choose golf over watching Kentucky play. Because what kind of fans would we be if we did that? We'd be terrible ones. That's what we'd be. But I'm going to go ahead and just call it quits for tonight and try to stay up. I've slept, I figured out, I've slept four hours in the last 50, which is not good. So my plan is Sunday, Monday I'm off. I'm going to try my best to catch up on sleep then. Hopefully the stupid wisdom tooth crap dies off. It's still annoying, but it's not like excruciating like it was. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it here for tonight. And uh, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.